do you think about when you see these colors? To me, and to a whole nation of people, we think about African unity and pride. Red stands for the blood that connects all people of African descent. Black stands for the black people that are spread throughout the world. And green stands for the natural abundancy of Africa. But what is Africa? Africa is a huge supercontinent that is made up of all these countries that are found at the bottom of my board. And most people don't think about this. They think about poverty and disease wild even, but they are sadly mistaken. Africa is a beautiful and exotic place made with many rainforests, deserts, snowy peaks, mountains, lakes, and rivers. The largest mountain in Africa is Kilimanjaro, that reaches a peak of 5,895 meters. The largest river in Africa is the Nile, which reaches a length of 3,254,555 square kilometers. Another thing most people think about is our exports, such as African art, animals, and gold salt. These are two masks. This one's made out of copper and bronze. This one's made out of dark fabrics and beads animals that are found at the zoo, such as lions, elephants, zebras, giraffes, rhinos, and salt that's found on almost every dinner table, restaurant, social establishment, and of course, gold. It is made into fine jewelry, such as necklaces, bracelets, rings. And according to the African American family album, the Emperor of Ghana possessed a nugget of gold so large he could tether his horse to it. Another unfortunate export of Africa was people. Africans did not first arrive in the United States until European explorers traveling through Africa and brought some to the United States as, an inde as indentured servants. This, the route from Africa to the United States was called the Middle Passage, where they also transported raw materials and concentrated goods. Purple lines show where all the Africans went to once they were captured. When Africans first arrived in the United States, they went to a place called Jamestown, where the slaves were auctioned off and sold out to all the colonies. This picture shows a typical slave ship that could hold up to 200 to 500 people. This picture shows, it shows a demonstration about how cramped and how crowded everyone was and how unclean and there was no bathrooms, so sickness and disease spread quickly, killing most of the cargo. And it is said that up to 4 million people died on the voyages alone. This is a picture of the door of no return found on Gorey Island from Senegal. They called it the Door of No Return because once slaves left from there, they would never return home. Slavery ended when our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, signed the Emancipation Proclamation, setting all slaves free after the Civil War. This is his chair that is found at the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan. Another fascinating item found at the Henry Ford Museum is Rosa Parks' bus, where she took a stand for equality when she did not move out of her seat, even though by law she was told she was forced to get out of her seat and move back to the bus when asked by a white person. Because of that act, it led to many marches, rallies, protests, and many, many more boycotts, such as this one that shows equality, then they fought for equality and justice. One of the main organizations that fought for equality was the NAACP, which stands for the National Association 
for the advancement of colored people, in which my grandfather was a past president of. But not everyone wants African Americans to succeed in today's society, such as the Ku Klux Klan. According to eyewitness2history.com, the Ku Klux Klan was founded as a social club for veterans of the Confederate Army to relieve boredom. The Ku Klux Klan did not turn violent until the 1900s when people were found dead along the streets, hung from trees, and lynched. The leader of the Ku Klux Klan would be known as the Grand Cyclops. Another way people tried to stop African Americans from achieving equality and justice from achieving equality and justice was the Jim Crow laws. The Jim Crow laws were a set of lists of restrictions that stopped African Americans from going to any public place, such as movies, restaurants, schools, but that all ended when a man named Thurgood Marshall argued. Um, yeah, argued to help win a case called the Brown vs. Board of Education, which allowed people to choose any school they wanted to. When people think of the Civil Rights Movement, they usually think about Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King and Reggie Jackson, but the Civil Rights Movement actually started with Thurgood Marshall. Martin Luther King was a famous preacher whose words of wisdom inspired millions of people in the United States. And his I Have a Dream speech, in particular, inspired a whole nation of people to become better people. And a quote from his famous I Have a Dream speech is, I look to a day when people will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Barack Obama, our where 44th president is the first black president, which is considered to be a beacon of hope to a nation of people, especially to the millions of African Americans living in today's society. When Martin Luther King said he has a dream, Barack Obama is considered to be the dream. But what he fought back then is now a reality today.